had to put man and woman together to find out which one is smarter. They say man, but I say no. You women got the men real beat for so, not me. It's the people they say that the men are leading the women astray, but I say that the women of today smarter than the man in every way. Well, ever since the world began, woman was always tricking man. If you listen to me attentively, I tell you how. Here in Bermuda there's a traffic rule No matter what you drive, you have to drive it cool But the diddly bops like to break away Breaking speed records on the highway The diddly bops and the gooseneck handlebar The beep 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 zigzagging through the motor car It's an honor, James, to have Well, Christine was a carpenter And this you'll never bet She had the whole world talking When she made a whole cabin net <laughs> Not me It's the people they say that the men Are leading the women astray For I say that the women are today Smarter than the men in every way From the 40th day I'll tell you something else about Christine yes. You don't know yes. Well, Christine was a bad carpenter I tell you this from my heart She just put in one loose screw In her cabin and fell in her car That's perfect. Thank you, Daniel. Ronnie, Ronnie Lopes. Ronnie Lopes. Ronnie Lopes. Hey, you're my friend in Bermuda. I'm a drummer. His first dad and his mom. I'm going to hear it. Yeah. I don't think that there was ever a time that I can remember without the Merry Men being in our ears. And it made sense when I read for this evening that the first break came in 1965 when the Barbados Tourist Board, as it then was, under the direction of Mr. Frank Odell, determined that they would carry the Merry Men on tour with them to help promote Barbados. Ironically, 
I was born in 1965. So that <laughs> after that, it is amazing, and I say so to my colleagues all the time, and John, you would appreciate this, that there was more local music played when I was a child than is played today and has been played for a long time. So Gabby, when you sang, I don't want my young girl to wear a liquor pie, break a pie, bum to get lock up. <laughs> That is as familiar to me today as it was when I was a little girl. Or I asked my mother for six months, <laughs> escorts. Right. Or the ones from Fab Five and Foreign and Frank, and I'll come back to Foreign and Frank in a minute. Or Tropical Islanders. Or Sand Pebbles on the Wings of a Dove. And I still remember the iconic album covers because my parents had all of the albums in the house. And as young children, this is what we used to listen to. And when I got my pocket money, which was not often because you had to work with it, I would go in town by, what was the name of this shop again? Um, Caravan. Number one records, number one records. And you would go and buy the little 45s. The youngsters, Copeland, you don't know about a 45, do you? <laughs> and, and you had to make sure that nobody in the house, because my brother and sister sometimes would lose the centerpiece. And if the centerpiece gone, the work on wobbling, and you can't play the music. The, these small things bring back joy and memory. But you begin to understand how much has changed in the world since then. There are youngsters who don't even know about mini disc, which for us the, was a major, major advance from 45s and LPs. But the Merry Man was the one with all the songs. Archie broke them up. We used to, as little children, run around and sing it at Miss Carrington at school and you couldn't sing it in front of the teachers because the teachers would get vexed when you went and sang it and they would reprimand you for singing it. God Bless Bim became that link for those of us who studied overseas to our country on November 30th. And I think I have said publicly already that as a student in London, it meant that every year from 1983 to 87, for five years, I was away from Barbados for independence. And we didn't have anybody, even if you were going to get conkeys, you had to wait till the weekend if it fell during the week to go to a Bajan household to get conkeys. So that the most we could do, the few of us who were there, and it was usually Jackie Kaiser who is still in London, and myself, would go about like mad people up and down, whether it was Oxford Street, Tottenham Court Road, or wherever we were, singing God bless me on Independence Day. And people would see these people singing and walking up and down and could not figure out what was happening. Perhaps that was the beginning of the Republic without us knowing it and the determination to leave London <laughs> as a state, that even in London, we would not have our strong Bajan patriotism stifled. And it was given full expression to by that song that was so easy to sing and so iconic for all of us as Barbadians. But it wasn't only those. In primary school, we remembered the Bajan that seller. Tell me where I got from a young fella. Uh, uh, and the notion that a song would break into Bajan dialect was so novel that that in and of itself endeared it to us as young children because of course you were not expected or you didn't hear those things um, on a regular basis. And then
Now Mary had a little watch She swallowed it one day She took a dose of castor oil To pass the time away The castor oil, it would not work The watch, it would not pass So when you want to see the time You must enjoy yourself It's better than you think Enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, it's little 